Australian cattle manufacturers will be able to continue the trade of live cattle and buffalo after Australia accept extra biomuality measures on Friday night. Lock points Indonesia. After high-level diplomatic negotiations, Live Australian Cattle and Buffalo Forbid Exports Indonesia banned the exports of Live Australia. Cattle and Buffalo after high-level diplomatic negotiations allegedly arrived in Indonesia with a P-click skin skin disease. The ban was tested to show that hundreds of livestock with P-calmic skin disease have been free of virus since then after the claim that Australia came to Indonesia. Indonesia. 13 Australian cattle allegedly arrived with the Peel disease on July 30. Live cattle and buffalo manufacturers imposed a ban. The four export gardens were clearly faced with a prohibition and three more restrictions in the North region, Queensland and Western Australia. The forbidden stopped trade with Indonesia. The largest cattle export market in Australia. Malaysia watched Indonesia's leadership and suspended live cattle exports from Australia, but continued to trade at the beginning of this month. What is peak skin disease? Popper skin disease. Bite insects infected with cattle and buffalo is a very infectious viral disease. It does not pose any risk for people. It can lead to fever, loss of appetite, decrease in milk production and death in cattle and mandate. The federal government agreed host a large supervision of local cattle for LSD visually examination before cattle were shipped, and to host an Indonesian delegation examine export gardens. Agriculture Minister Murray Watts said the federal government would wear costs, but that the price tag could not be an estimate. Senator Murray Watt welcomed the abolition of the ban. We don't expect costs to be incredibly high. Senator Watt estimated that the five-week ban cost the government cost millions of dollars, but did not affect relations with Jakarta. Senator Watt, I think, this actually makes the relationship stronger. It is a proof of our fact that we have a good relationship with Indonesia. In Australia, the virus was never detected. The federal government and the Australian Livestock Exporters Council remains that the country has been from LSD, which has been spreading to Indonesia since March last year. The forbidden triggered high-level diplomatic interviews with Indonesia and comprehensive tests of local cattle. Australian General Veterinary Officer Beth Cookson, Australia, a senior delegation of Australian officials, went to Jakarta this week to meet with Indonesian officials. The principal Anthony Albania brought issue to the agenda with President of Indonesian Joko Widodo. Meanwhile, about 1,000 cattle were tested in North Australia and cleaned from LSD. An Indonesian cow with a fatal skin disease that can be deadly. ALEC President David Galvin. The industry's trade continues. He said, Indonesian families rely on Australian cattle for a consistent supply.